as the Azerbaijani government intensifies its crackdown on journalists ahead of the COP29 conference in Baku, the European Federation of Journalists calls on the international community to step up pressure on the authorities to release the 23 journalists and media workers unjustly imprisoned in Azerbaijan. The UN Climate Change Conference, more commonly known as COP29, is hosted by the government of Azerbaijan. It will take place in Baku on November the 11th to the 22nd, 2024. Ahead of this international conference, the European Federation of Journalists calls on the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change Secretariat, based in Bonn, Germany, to ensure that all COP hosts, including Azerbaijan, comply with international human rights law and do not use the COP as a pretext to censor journalists and civil society activists. The Council of Europe's Platform for the Protection of Journalism has documented 23 cases of journalists imprisoned in Azerbaijan simply for doing their job. Among them are employees of Abzaz Media, Canal 13 and others. We obviously support the hashtag Free Abzaz Journalists campaign, which has just been launched to demand the release of the six journalists from this independent media outlet, but we also demand the immediate release of the 17 other media workers unjustly imprisoned in Azerbaijan, insists European Federation of Journalists General Secretary Ricardo Gutierrez. The international delegations attending COP29 should publicly express their solidarity with the imprisoned journalists. They cannot be complicit in the regime's indiscriminate repression. In April 2024, the European Parliament adopted an urgent resolution calling for an immediate and unconditional release of all political prisoners in Azerbaijan and for EU sanctions under its global human rights sanctions regime to be imposed on Azerbaijani officials who have committed serious human rights violations. The European Federation of Journalists believes that it is high time to move from words to deeds. Mykola Malamuz, general of the Ukrainian army and former head of the Foreign Intelligence Service of Ukraine, believes that Putin is deeply afraid of his own troops turning against him, so he relies only on proxies and special services. He shared his opinions with Espresso TV. The enemy is currently disorganized in the Kursk region. Unexpected attacks in areas where the enemy is unprepared and unable to mount a strong defense not only destabilize their military but also unsettle the Russian leadership. The Kremlin is now relying on highly trusted individuals because Putin is deeply fearful. He is haunted by the ghost of Prigozhin and fears a repeat of that situation. He worries that his own military might turn against him. That is why he depends on special services, proxies and the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service. However, they lack control and are not equipped for this task. The Ukrainian Defense Forces offensive in Kursk has demonstrated this, Malomuz explained. According to the general, Russia is in chaos, trying to determine how to halt the Ukrainian Armed Forces offensive in the Kursk region. They understand everything. They are pulling together some troops and have created a coordination headquarters that does not even have a single command. Now the Kremlin is trying to find the generals responsible for the failure of the defense of the Kursk region. Moreover, the troops that they are now deploying to the Kursk region have no experience in combat. In particular, from Kaliningrad, from other distant regions of the Russian Federation, and of course, conscripts. We have all seen how their conscripts are fighting. That is why they will be forced to redeploy combat units from the hotspots in Ukraine. However, this will not help them. They still do not have a unified command and do not know what to do, he added. The latest batch of nonsense from Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko directly hints that Russian leader Vladimir Putin is already begging for negotiations. This was stated by the head of the Center for Countering Disinformation of Ukraine, Andriy Kovalenko, on Telegram. According to him, Lukashenko's statements clearly contain narratives that Russia has allegedly already achieved its goal, so the war can already be ended. If we translate everything that Lukashenko said into human language, it is a signal that Putin is already begging for negotiations. Because Lukashenko's long speech implies that his goal has already been achieved. Kovalenko wrote, earlier Alexander Lukashenko said that the goal of the special military operation has already been achieved. 
According to him, the Kursk operation is allegedly an attempt by Kiev to push Russia to use weapons, including nuclear weapons.